Hello everyone, um, hope you're okay. Uh, so what I'll do now, I'll take you through uh, three uh, tests um, that I do, uh, three different acronyms as well, um, just to identify where the discrepancies are, uh, the ability to use uh, the energy stored in the muscle, um, the, the individual strengths of either eccentric and isometric or a concentric contraction or the weaknesses. Is there a reason for everything, do you know? Um, is there a reason why on back foot contact, whether they're hip or knee, they actually land and sink? Do they lack eccentric or isometric strength? Does the system uh, identify where the flaws are? That's why you have to test. You know, it's uh, we need to get up to speed with with uh, sports performance and the human body and, and sports science. Okay, so the three things uh, I'm not going to delve too deep into it. Okay, but it's just a little insight for you guys at the inner circle. So the first one is, I don't know if you can see this, but it's the DSI, okay? That's the Dynamic Strength Index. And that is the ability to use the force capacity of the system. So how much uh, of your strength do you use for uh, fast bowling or anything explosive? You know, it's, like I say, it's about mass-specific force but it's also how efficient your delivery system is. In other words, ground contact time on bowling happens so quickly that you need to be able to exert force at minimum contact time, okay? So that will, ident DSI identifies um, how much of your strength potential you're using for explosive fast uh, skills. So the second one is RSI, and that is the Reactive Strength Index, okay? So this is the ability to go from eccentric to concentric. Therefore, it's the ability to control the collision and use the energy stored, okay? So it's on back foot contact, it's the abyss of how much ability you have on landing to store, avoid deformation and explode, okay? So that, the RSI identifies uh, how, how strong you are eccentrically, which leads to uh, more stored energy, okay? Uh, the second one is the RBI, that's something that's unique to Pace Lab. Okay, it's the reactive bowling index, and it's all to do with the impulse stride. Okay, that dictates everything. So it's the ability to utilize the stored energy from uh, the impulse stride into back foot contact. Okay, it's the quality of that uh, node of fast bowling impulse drive into back foot contact. Okay, let me go through them individually. So the DSI, the Dynamic Strength Index, okay? Um, so higher or lower here is uh, determined by each individual, okay? And, and it directs the training. So this is where, this is the first test you need to do.